here I have another question from the surface areas of combination of solid let me read the question uh, Mayank made a bird bath bird bath <laughs> bird will also now bath on a special top <laughs> for his garden in the shape of a cylinder with the hemispherical depression okay this is the depression where we'll put the water right in this section at one end see the figure the height of the cylinder at one end keep in mind at just one end all right uh, the height of the cylinder is 1.45 meter okay this is the height and its radius is 30 centimeter wow this is 30 centimeter same radius the cylinder also have all right uh, so find the total surface area of the bird bath take pi as a 22 by 7 okay so uh, first we have a cylinder all right and uh, you say curve uh, a cylinder I mean it's not filled with anything you know it's this it's hollow here all right and uh, before making this side was also hollow all right just like a pipe it was initially and later what we did in one side like, let's say we have one pipe let's say we had one pipe initially and later what we did uh, let's say we have a, a hemisphere and that hemisphere we sit here all right we sit here like this so now we need to find out the total surface area of the of the figure so to find out the total surface area of the figure what we have to do uh, first we need to find out the curve surface area of this all right and then uh, we need to find out the curve surface area of this hemisphere so all together uh, this will be the complete surface area of our uh, the object the bird bath all right and finally you'll get uh, like this uh, this is the cylinder initially what we had and later we build a hemispherical top here to to bath the bird and we feel the water inside it all right this is filled with the water you can see it here so first what we'll be doing we'll be finding out the curve surface area of the this uh, hemisphere all right in which we put the water and we'll find out the curve surface area of this cylinder all right the bottom is hollow all right completely hollow it is and the top is filled with that uh, uh, what's that hemisphere right so the total surface area of this object will be bird bath will be will be the sum of the curved surface area of hemisphere plus curved surface area of cylinder both of the figure have the same radius so it's very easy to calculate now curved surface area of hemisphere that's 2 pi r square and curve surface area of cylinder that's 2 pi r h and we can take common here 2 pi r and then we'll be left with uh, r plus h and that's going to be 2 times 22 over 7 and radius is 30 centimeter right so it's 30 centimeter and again radius is 30 centimeter and height is 1.45 meter all right so 1.45 meter and we need we have taken this in centimeter do you know that uh, remember it this is in centimeter so what we have to do this figure should be I um, mean this thing should be also in centimeter and 1.45 is meters so I have to multiply by 100 so that it, it will go to the centimeter now since it's uh, surface area so the unit will be now centimeter square so I'm using calculator now 2 times 22 times 30 is 1320 1320 divided by 7 times now uh, 145 that's uh, actually 1.45 times 100 that's 145 plus 30 plus 30 that's 175 and after calculation from the calculator I will get it 33,000 centimeters square so the area of this bathtub uh, the, the bird bath is total uh, 33,000 centimeters square all right and including this one and this one 